Alright everybody, welcome back to the class trial. So previously we discovered that uh, Kirumi is a little bit suspicious, and by a little bit, it's looking like she uh, she definitely definitely killed a man. So, let's see how this could have happened. Alright. Well, the preparations in the gym in any case, as far as the only one who could have, could have done the preparation for the murder. And why do you believe that? Before the culprit could put the body into the tank, several steps needed to be taken. My throat's all messed up. I just ate. That was a bad idea. I, that's why I usually wait to eat until I have whatever. <coughs> like tying the rib to the, to the gym window and putting a partition in the piranha tank. That's right. The woman's body entered the gym from the window, but that required preparation. That could have only been done when Kirumi was by herself in the gym before night time. Kirumi was alone in the gym for only, like, five minutes. Not enough time for the whole murder, but enough time to set it up. Enough time to tie the rope in the window frame and put the pain in the piranha tank. True? Oh! Whoa! Are we gonna have a sword d battle duel? Well, I do understand where you are coming from. I assure you, this is just... a part of your petty imagination. An empty theory created from nihilism. Look at that face, dude. K Kirumi's losing it. I'm sad, dude. I liked Kirumi a lot. She was her mom. She was she was her mom, dude. All right, marked window frame. Piece of okay. Hey, hold hold up, hold up. Uh, I like need to 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 do this so I can like actually see what. The, the, oh God. Okay. All right. All right. I suppose five minutes might be enough time. I accept that. However, let's see. The crux of your argument is not but guesses. Oh my god, you continue to force the f- Oh my god, when you consider the crux of your argument- Oh my god, this is hard- it's so hard to read. Your entire case falls apart! Hmm, advance. Alright. So that one thing- What do you mean by the crux of the argument? How is it just a guess? Yeah, how is it just a guess, key to me? I'm referring to the rope. Now, with that rope- Oh my god, it is po possible there's a gym window. I can't read everything. There is no evidence to indicate that's a frick. That definitely was. In other words, it is just a guess. And then you assume. Then you, oh, dude, it's really hard to read this. Is anybody else struggling? It's nothing more than deception. There's definitely was something wrong there. Yeah. So basically. I have evidence on my side. It's basically. Probably the marked window frame? Wait. That's probably not related. Uh, the alibis probably aren't related. The marked window frame, and then what's the other one? What's the other thing? And a snack cable. Oh, probably, you know, uh, there's no evidence to indicate that it happened. Oh yeah, yeah, there is. You dumb idiot. Oh my god, I can't get the V thing, bro. I want the V thing. I don't care about the regular thing. Who cares about the stupid regular thing? If you can't get a V counter, what's even the point? Jeez, that's so lame! Yeah, 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 yeah God, the first episode of every recording session is rough on my voices, man. I'm trying. I'm trying, I swear. Just tying the rope to the frame wouldn't cause so much damage. That would be... Let's see. The rope that was tied to the frames must have been weighed down significantly. The frames didn't break, but they were left with distinct marks. Those scratches are proof that you used a rope to carry the body to the windowsill. Uh-oh. She's cracking, dude. She's cracking. Oh? What's wrong, Kirimi? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Hey! What's wrong? Hey, 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 hey. Is, is Kirimi quiet? Cause, Cause that's what happened? She ain't gonna give up. Please answer us, Kirimi! Shuichi's doing this for your sake! If it is for my sake, then it would be much easier to forfeit. What? Oh, okay. But I cannot allow that, because I must do this for everyone. Wow, she's actually being loud. It's hard to do that for everyone. I have a duty and a responsibility. I must serve everyone and protect them. So I refuse to surrender. They won't forgive me if I do. What? Where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? Her response 
seems genuine. Man, look at that face. So what did she mean by everyone? Is she doing this for all our sakes? Am, am I wrong? Is Kirumi innocent? No, I, I'm wrong again. Hey, Kirumi. Who exactly is this everyone you're talking about? Kaito? I've, I've just got a weird feeling about this. When you said everyone, it felt like you weren't talking about us. It felt like you were talking about someone who isn't here. Someone who isn't here? Ooh. Someone outside of the academy? He, do you think Yurumi saw her own motive video? She definitely did, dude. She definitely did. Huh? The motive video? You saw your important or someone in danger, so you committed murder, right? Is that true? I'm so very I'm so sorry for making such a mess. Because of that I've made all of you assume something unnecessary. Unnecessary. Are you saying I'm wrong? This everyone you're talking about. It is all of you. Of course. Really? Do you swear to Atua? Yes, really. So please believe me. I am not the culprit. I do care about what happens. I do not care what becomes of me, but I cannot allow any of you to die. Because I made a promise to Kaide. She wished for all of us to escape together. Man, she's being. S I don't trust her, dude. But to make this harder than it has to be, kid of me, you're making my heart hurt. I want to fulfill my duties as the ultimate maid, but I mean, that would make sense unless she's not, like, really the ultimate maid. I wish to serve everyone. So please believe me. You have to. Cure me. Um, are we totally sure Kirumi's the culprit? Maybe it's someone else. Are we sure Kokichi isn't the culprit? Yeah, good question. Ah ha ha, how rude. Gonta just can't believe Kirumi would kill Ryoma. Unless, like, he asked her to, then she probably would. Kirumi's breakfast were the best. She always treated us so well. She really is like a mom. Perhaps it was after she gained our trust that she saw her chance to strike. You really are screwed. You really are screwed up. But I mean, he's kind of. I mean, screwed up from head to toe. Even though you're close, I can tell. Shuichi, please reconsider suspecting me as the culprit. You only suspect me because I was at the gym during nighttime yesterday, correct? But you cannot accuse me of being the culprit with that insufficient proof. Is it? It is still possible for Maki and Kaito to, to have gone to the gym. They do not have alibis. Uh, I don't know. They could have pretended to help Kimiko, but secretly prepared the murder. When you put it that way, it does seem possible. We can't accuse Kirumi just based on our alibis. Guys, maybe suspecting Kirumi is wrong. Yeah, maybe we should think it over one more time. I made a promise. As the ultimate detective, I made a promise to seek the truth. I made a promise to Kaide, so I'm not turning back now. They're scared. They're scared that they have to accuse one of their friends of murder. So it's up to me. I have to do it. I'll use my detective work to prove it! Let's do it. So you still believe I am the culprit? But there is no evidence to indicate that I am. No, there is. I have proof that you are the culprit. I realized it when we determined the ropeway, that the ropeway was used to move the body. Hmm, how so? If it was indeed Kirumi who moved the body with the makeshift ropeway, then the final clue falls into place. Man, this thing's about to end, dude. This, this, this thing's over. The final clue. The damning evidence that proves Kirumi is the culprit. Shuichi, won't you please tell me why you are so desperate to pit me as the culprit? Don't you want to protect everyone? I'm doing this because I want to protect everyone. Shuichi. Then you're wrong. Your deduction is all wrong. Your words aren't going to convince me now. Not when I know the truth. What truth? All you care about is your own reasoning. You don't even listen to others. I can't bet everyone's lives on a deduction made by a self-righteous brat. You can't save anyone. Man, she is really desperate. No more doubts. I'm confident I'm right. I'm going to present everyone the evidence that proves she's guilty. Frick, I didn't want to do that. 
I don't want to do that. Yeah, 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 whatever, kidding me. Shut up, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you. 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 Yeah, definitely. I know. I got it. But I know what's what's gonna get you. Ha ha. I know it. I'm smart. Cause I'm smart. Cause I'm smart. I know exactly that. That's it. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it the whole time. It's just cause I'm smart. Cause I'm smart. So I knew it. That's why I clicked that. Cause I knew that that was right. The piece of black fabric in the pool. That's the final clue that proves you're guilty. Hmm. It's been bothering me for a while. I couldn't figure out what it was. Was it part of her uniform? I thought it was just trash at first, but I couldn't dismiss it entirely. Now that the class trial has come this far, I know for certain. It's an important piece of the puzzle. Because like the inner tube, it's evidence the culprit couldn't dispose of. It's true. Uh-huh. Why not? It was in the pool. It was in the freaking pool, dude. Using the ropeway, you could slide the inner tube from the lab to the gym. But how would you control it? If it kept sliding and it hit the window, the momentum would have thrown the body off. To prevent that from happening, the culprit needed some way to adjust the speed. For example, the culprit could have used their hands for friction. Ooh. The gloves! She wears black gloves! The Torah gloves! Y yeah? So what? You're still wrong. Your logic is flawed. Oh, she's cracking, dude. Like an eggy. Kill me. Why are you becoming increasingly erratic? It's freaking me out. <laughs> there is uh, such absolute beauty in trying to fight against the truth. What truth? That black cloth is just trash. You can't prove I'm the culprit with just that. No, it's not just trash. It's proof that you're the culprit. <laughs> Finding out how that black fabric fits into this is the key to everything. I'll make it all clear now by clicking on her gloves or probably... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, crap. My controller. I probably need my controller for this. Is it on? Oh. Uh, hold? Excuse you? Oh, you're supposed to hold it when it goes. Oh, okay. What is the truth? Oh, okay, cool. Just your empty deduction. Let's see, you continue to confuse everyone. You are incorrect. Frick! That was awful. What is this truth? This is your empty. Oh, got her. Oh, got her. Let's see. Oh, oh, it's going. We're speeding up. I can't like even read anything, honestly. Let's see. Everyone's life is at stake. Let's see. Because of our self-righteous. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> um. Let's see. In this class trial. Man, you really gotta let it go perfectly. Oh God. It's getting fast because. Uh, oh, it's still. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I think I... Okay, here we go. Uh, there we go. Yeah, no more mistakes, bro. I'm per floss from now on. Oh, got her. Oh, uh, let's see. I completely understand your reasoning. Oh, my God. Let's see. Dun, 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 uh. I can't even read it. I just have to focus on clicking. Duh, do, uh. How? Ah! Too fast. Uh, speculation. I uh, want to protect everyone. I hit... See, that's why I can't read it. Why not you? Uh, I can't even read it because of the stupid <laughs> thing in the way. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh god, I couldn't even see. Ah! What is this thing? What is this thing that's floating around, dude? Oh, my god, oh my god, she's almost dead, dude. Oh, it's just supposed to throw me off. That's the whole point of it. Oh, she's almost dead, dude. I just need like one more. Boom, got her, dude. Final blow. Let's see. What is that piece of trash? Ki do me gudovs. Got it. Yep. Oh, that's kind of lewd. All right. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. That piece of fabric came from Kirumi's black glove. <laughs> Kirumi's glove. Hmm. If the culprit was slowing their descent by grabbing the rope with their hands, there would have been a lot of friction, easily enough to cause rope burn. Man, we got her, dude. This is over. But our culprit was smart. They weren't burned because they weren't barehanded. Yeah, the culprit had gloves on. One, one guy all torn up for the friction and... And it fell into pool? 
From what I remember, the only one who wears black gloves is cute me, right? I got a lot of burpage going on. Like I said, I shouldn't have eaten before this. <coughs> the gloves on your hand now. I take <coughs> get there from your dorm. The extra uniforms in our rooms are made of the same material we're wearing right now. You can test my theory by comparing the fabric scrap with your glove. <coughs> well, cure me. Will you allow us to compare the black fabric we found in the pool with your gloves? <coughs> huh? What's the matter? Why are you sweating so much? Cue to me. What's wrong? <coughs> oh, she's about to cry, isn't she? In the end, I'm just like them. I'm scared of revealing the truth. Because it means that someone has to be sacrificed. But Kaede was scared too. She didn't let that stop her. She thought things through to the end. I faced the truth and doubted it, and kept thinking and kept going. This is where it led me, and I won't turn away from it. I will show you the truth. Here we go. Closing argument. Let's see. Alright, now that I know how it works. Let's see. Oh, here's the magic show, and then she falls into pool, and then Piranha falls into pool, and then going to say, Oh, and then we see man, and then man is eaten alive. The evidence of metal the piranhas did not eat. What do you mean? Let's see, piranha swimming in tank, handcuff victim, rubber inner tube, friction of glove. Uh, most of these are kind of far into the thing, though. Yeah, these are all pretty far in the, in the thing. Um, let's see. Glass would have been used. Uh, yeah, let me. You know what? Let me just like skip to where. Uh, which one is it? This one should be easy to figure out. Oh, most. Oh, here we go. This one I can do. This one too. Bang! Got it. And then here. Man, look at the poor guy. Oh, look his self. Man, Kimmy is brutal, dude. Jesus. What is that? the inner tube? What was taken from the pool? Rubber inner tube. Yeah. Good lord. Alright. Ooh doo dee da. What was used to transport the body on the ropeway? Unlock! Do it. Carry the rope? The rope? Is that what they mean? Carried the rope? Is that what they mean? I guess that's what they mean is carried the rope. Is my face cam too big? I think my face cam's a little too big. Look at my huge game of li library of video games you all just peeked at. Alright, here we go. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, I don't want to block too much at the screen with my, my big old dumb face. Hitting the brakes was tougher than expected. That's where the gloves come in. Uh, let's see, what's this? Where was the body carried to? Where was the body carried to? Am I dumb? I don't remember. Oh, here. We can go, like, all the way back here now. Um, let's see. The evidence of metal. Piranhas didn't eat. Did we even do that one yet? Let's see. What is this? Piranha tank lid. Oh, that's... Oh, wait. Yeah, there we go. Here. We'll do that. Yeah, they used the lid. Uh, what was this? The thin and long item the culprit took from the gym. Thin and long. <laughs> um... Oh, wait. Yeah, there we go. Cool. I'm just... I'm just... Dude, I'm rolling with this guy. Look at his little skeleton hand. Oh, Kirimi's looking like, Wow, what happened, dude? Ugh, what a freak. Uh, do -de 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 ah, the rope, duh. <laughs> Idiot. Um, let's see, the gym rope was tied to this. Oh, man. I'm crushing this. Except for the one thing I missed. What was you to transfer the body? The inner tube, right? Oh, I already said that, right? Oh, there it is. Yeah, hanging inner tube. Duh. And then finally, we have ooh, ooh, ah, ee, ooh, the piranha swimming in the tank. Oh, it was carried to the piranha tank. Duh. All right, here we go. Act 5. The victim's body was found this morning during Himiko's underwater escape act. God, I love these so much. Ah! Sploosh! <laughs> when we saw the piranhas in the tank, we thought Himiko's escape failed. Of course, it was all part of the act. Himiko's escape went perfectly. Flip. But when Anji opened the curtain in front of the tank, we saw Ryoma, with piranhas swarming around him. He was then eaten the heck alive. Before any of us could react, the piranhas devoured Ryoma's body. So sad. 
and then the handcuffs fell down. And all of a sudden, bones of the handcuffs he was wearing. Also, earlier I said corns don't actually eat people. That was incorrect. They do, but they don't eat live things. So they would have eaten Ryoma because he was a dead man. That also would have gone to prove that he was dead before he got in the tank. Anyway, moving on. The horrifying sight was the finishing touch on the corporate's own twisted magic trick. Look at that face, dude. Ugh. The culprit obfuscated the time and place of the murder, implicating Himiko in the process. I knew what I know what that word means. Trust me, I do. Act two. What is that number even? That looks like a one, right? Anyway, I thought it would be th whatever. In truth, the crime began last night around 8:55 p.m. While preparing for the show in the gym, the corporate had a chance to be alone. Oh, I, that's right. They're ordered in order of when things happen. Yeah, okay, never mind. I, I remember now. <laughs> it was then that the corporate used the ladder to reach the Parona tank. Ooh. I removed the glass lid to put inside the tank. Wow. They use it as a partition to force the piranhas to one side of the tank. Hmm. How smart. This is a smart crime. I gotta give it, I gotta give it to Kidumi. This was pretty brilliant. Too bad I'm brillianter. Next, the corporate took the rope from the stage wing of the gym. And used the ladder once more. This time to climb up the gym's window. Oh, Spooky. But why'd she do it, man? Why'd she do it? I don't get it. Why you gotta kill the man? Once there, they opened the window and tied one end of the rope to the window frame. The rope was then thrown out the window toward the pool. That was my imitation of the smile. These preparations were key for the corporate's elaborate plan. And to stop shaking my leg, I'll shake the camera and the, and the whole thing. Ryoma's just chilling, minding those business. Look at his cute little ears flopping around on his little cute little hat. At night time, past midnight, the corporate asked Ryoma to meet at his lab. Shouldn't have gone, bro. Dun dun! Flop, this is the start of a Law and Order episode. Law and Order banging Rumpa, dude. All the pieces were in place. The corporate was ready to murder. He didn't even see it coming. Just kidding. He just saw it coming. Doesn't matter. First, the corporate knocked Ryoma, knocked Ryoma out, probably striking him from behind. That won't make the comment I was going to make. <laughs> then they put the handcuffs from the shower room on Ryoma's wrists. Oh, poor little guy. Ah! No! And shoved his head into the sink filled with what she handcuffed him from the front, though. I mean... He still could have done some stuff. Whatever. Why would she handcuff him from behind? It just, it's more efficient. Anyway. She has that out sink full of the water. Cool. He died. <laughs> that's what that's my impression of what he sounded like when he died. It probably sounded like uh, like <laughs> And then he died. From the water and the pain of drowning, Rama should have woken up and struggled. The corporate anticipated his resistance, which is why Rama was handcuffed. Yeah, I guess when you're kind of underwater, that makes it hard. But you could still go like, like, like come out the pool like, like whapper. The struggle left behind, sh left scrapes of the cuffs and, s you know, you read it already. God. Ryoma was dead, but the corporate's plan had only just begun. This is evil, dude. This is evil. But brilliant. Man. They removed the cable from the tennis net and hung it from the window facing the pool. Fun fact! Shuichi's voice is the voice of Hello Kitty. The more you know. And then at the pool they connected the wire and the rope from the gym window. They returned to the lab after picking up one last thing. A toilet lid. Just kidding, it was an inner tube. The rubber in the tube that was in the pool, t pool, pool, the pool, t pool, pool tool shed. Pool tool shed. Once back in the lab, the cover pulled up the cable, bringing up the rope.
I really, I mean, you gotta respect all the work that went into this, man. You really do. <sighs> they pulled until the rope was taut, then tied it to the lab's window frame. And thus, the gym and the lab windows were connected by a single rope. Brilliant. After making a hanger of sorts with another length of rope tied to the inner tube, they held the inner tube on the rope connecting to the windows. That's how the culprit created the ropeway that was used to move the body. An impressive, premeditated murder, but the culprit made two crucial mistakes. Wait, or kick. The culprit got on the inner tube with Rama's body and slid toward the gym. No! Whoosh! I thought it said no, but it says whoosh! With the height difference between the windows, they would have built up quite some speed. To avoid crashing through the window, the culprit used a break. Oh god. Her hand should be fricked up. Even with a glove, her hand should be fricked up. They use their own hand to grip the rope and slow down. <laughs> nice little landing there. That would have caused significant rope burn. Had the culprit not been wearing gloves. Probably still, probably still freaking hurt, dude. Because, like, that peak cloth fell off, so she still was like... <laughs> oh, I shouldn't do that hand motion on stream. Uh, but through the friction, part of the glove tore off and dropped in the pool. And then there he is. Regardless, the culprit reached the window and put Ryoma's body into the piranha tank. The glass pane not only kept the piranhas and the body separated, it also kept the piranhas so close together they concealed the body. That's like if Kokichi and Jerry Seinfeld had a kid. After that, all the culprit had to do was untie the rope in the inner tube. But that's when they made their second mistake. This is going on for a long time. <laughs> Been on the, the closing argument for 10 minutes. One end of the rope came loose, and the inner tube dropped into the pool. God, this is such a banger, isn't it? Thus, the culprit was forced to leave two key pieces of evidence the fabric and the inner tube. I believe this song is used in the closing argument of all three main line, main, main title thing of the games. They couldn't retrieve the evidence because of the rule against swimming at nighttime. But you're telling me there's not a pool net? You're telling me they don't have a pool net, dude? Come on, come on. Did we have to go over this? I don't remember. Oh, kill me, why? Come on, mom. It's fucked up, dude. Pardon me. And that's the whole story. Am I wrong, Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid? Kirumi, that's the conclusion I reached. Do you have any objections? Well, uh, we'll see what her objections are, which she probably won't have any because we kind of just freaking owned her. Uh, so bye. We'll t see you next time.